every airline passenger should join Kate's group. Without a strong airline passengers group on Congress, you're not going to get that bill through, and it's long overdue. This. I want to introduce Kate. Uh, she and her family were stuck on the tarmac in an American Airlines plane for nine hours in Austin, Texas. Why are you sitting on, in an airplane on the tarmac for nine hours? Because they, the airline decided that they were going to mitigate the response by keeping everyone out on the tarmac, 138 jets diverted to 24 airports that night and not one of them was allowed with permission to go into a gate in any of the 24 airports. Okay, so you couldn't get off the airplane. Ralph, is it reasonable to keep people on airplanes for nine hours? I mean, it would seem you'd want to just get a bus out there and get them off. Very unreasonable. Uh, in fact, anything over two hours is really uh, damage to the passengers and should be the subject of compensation by the airlines. Ralph, should there be a, a, a passenger bill of rights? Definitely. Uh, passengers uh, just don't have uh, specific legal rights. The deregulation law of 1978 has been interpreted ambiguously to snuff out the state consumer protection laws, which airline passengers should be able to invoke. So we've got to clarify the situation, support that bill that Kate and her air, uh, air passenger coalition is pressing in Congress. Every airline passenger should join Kate's group. Without a strong airline passengers group on Congress, you're not going to get that bill through, and it's long overdue. Peter. Well, folks, you just saw it on Dr. Phil. Nader thinks we are the best thing since sliced bread, and he knows that without a, a successful, large, growing, robust coalition like ours dealing with Congress, there will never be an airline passengers bill of rights. I just got back from Washington, D.C., 10 days, 36 meetings, a hearing where I testified, a DOT task force meeting, and I want to update you now as to what happened and what needs to be done immediately in order for us to succeed. First, the FAA reauthorization bill was extended another six months. Although that's very disappointing, and I personally shared with Jerry Costello my disappointment for our coalition, he gave me a great deal of confidence and promised that we would actually be in the new version of the FAA reauthorization bill in six months when they revisit it with the new administration. He promised that, folks, and he told me that personally. He also apologized for the fact that we were not added to the extension of the FAA reauthorization bill, stating that it was a conflict between the House of Representatives and the Senate, which has been consistent with this administration for the entire two years that we've been fighting for an Airline Passengers Bill of Rights. What we need you to do immediately are several things. One, we need you to have all of your friends, all of your family, every frequent flyer that you know sign up on our petition to show that we are a growing and robust coalition. We need you to ask them to donate a little of their time, a little of their talent, and any of their treasure that they can spare for us. That's what's going to keep us robust and growing and show Congress and show the Department of Transportation that we are successful. Secondly, the Department of Transportation had a task force meeting, which I alluded to a few minutes ago. In that task force meeting, I actually want to alarm you by telling you what happened. I asked for a vote of every member of the task force. I asked for every member to hold up their hand as to whether or not they thought a passenger ever had the right to deplane an aircraft. Everyone except for me voted no, that they did not think that we should have the ability ever at any point to get off of an aircraft. Is that not shocking? It certainly shocked me. I made a list of all the yeas and the nays and I'm going to be posting those yeas and the nays on our website within two days. I want you to read closely this email that we are sending along with this video. We have a link to the Department of Transportation docket that we need you to sign into. We need you to read the docket, read the ridiculous plans that have been created by the airlines and the airports, which have nothing meaningful in them for the passengers, and we need every one of you to comment to that docket, just so that you have an idea of what's in there. Our task force, which I've been attending every month, was, was challenged and tasked to create, and the actual charter of the task force was to create 
contingency plans for long on-ground delays. In other words, a way for people to get off of aircraft, a way for people's essential needs to be taken care of on aircraft during long on-ground delays. I challenge you to find any of that in this doc docket as, as it exists right now. What you will find are 36 mays, 46 shoulds, and zero musts. Nothing enforceable, nothing that they must do for us. You need to go in and comment to that, and then I want all of you to consider and really look at how you could be at our final task force meeting when Mary Peters determines what's going to be included in that DOT docket. The final task force meeting is November 12th. That gives us all plenty of time to be there and to sign up to be at that meeting, and you get a chance to express yourself at that meeting. So please, everyone, grow our coalition. Have everyone you know sign up on our petition at flyersrights.org. Donate time, treasure, and talent to us. Any amount of time, a few minutes a week, is of help. And show up at this task force meeting to say enough is enough. Airline passengers should have basic human rights on aircraft. We don't have them now, but we can win this fight. They might have won the battle, but they haven't won the war. And the airline lobby is huge. They spent $16 million in Congress this year. We need to spend more time at this fighting, and we can win, and win big. So stay tuned for more alerts from the coalition. Coming soon, we'll have specific instructions for you on how each week you can fight for this DOT task force to win for the passenger. Thanks.